Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to calibrate your machine. And this is a very important thing to do before you do your printing cuts to ensure you have perfect images. So let's get into the video. Before calibrating your machine, you want to actually make sure that your machine needs calibrating. So what I'm going to do is go over to images and we're just going to find us an image to print out just to see how well it prints. So I went under food and drinks and we're going to look for um, just a small image that we could use as an example. And so I actually ended up finding this cute little ice cream cone and this is what we're going to use. So I use this ice cream cone here and I'm going to just select it and add it to our canvas. And as you can tell by the layers on the side that it came in as a basic cut operation. So in order to change that into a print then cut, all you will need to do is highlight it and mash flatten. Now that your image is in a print then cut form, go over to offset. We're just going to put a small black outline around it so that we can actually see the um, cut details a lot better. So once you get your offset, just a small offset, click apply. And then as you can see, the offset is not part of the print then cut. It's going to print it in two images. So what you would need to do is highlight the entire image and click flatten again so that the image will be as one. Again, we're going to highlight the entire image, click flatten, and then we're going to print it. So click make it. So now we have it sorted out onto our mat. So everything looks perfect, making sure that we stay inside the print then cut guidelines, which is a 9.25 height and a 6.75 width. So we are within those guidelines. So now we're gonna go over to send to printer. Once you send it to printer, uh, we're gonna take away the add bleed. So do not add bleed um, on your first image. I also made sure that the system dialog was on just so I could show y'all when you're actually doing a print then cut. If you use the system dialog, you can change your print quality. I use high for actual print then cuts for shirts, but today for this demonstration, I'm going to use standard. So this is what the system dialog is for. I would um, suggest using that to make sure you use a high quality printer preference and then you press print. Once your image is printed, it is now ready to load onto your mat. So make sure that you change your um, your dial to paper. You don't want to use vinyl, so make sure you change it to paper once your mat is loaded. And as you can see, I have to use tape to make sure that my images is on my mat because I've had these mats so long that they don't even stick anymore. After your machine cuts your image, uh, you will be ready to see how well that it cut and whether or not it will need calibration. So this is our first cut. We're going to actually do three today. And so as you can see, it cut along the black line some, but then it cut some of the white towards the end. You don't want the white on your printing cuts because if you go to iron it on a shirt, that white will show and it's tacky. So you can see how much white that our machine did, did not cut off. So our machine actually needs calibrating and it needs calibrating bad. So let's get into it. To calibrate your machine, you will need your printer that you're gonna calibrate, of course, your Cricut Design Space, a computer, of course, and a printer. You, will need, you cannot do this without a printer. You will need a printer of some sort. And this is what the calibration screen will look like. You go over to your menu beside your canvas. Beside canvas, you click on those three little lines, your menu button. And then you will scroll down until you see calibration under new project setup. Now you're ready to calibrate. And it says machine calibration, get the most accurate cuts. Your next screen, print calibration sheet. So you would choose your printer that you're gonna use and you're gonna mash print. So we are using standard paper for this. So use standard paper for this. After you completed step one, which is printing your calibration sheet, it is now for step two, and it says place sheet on top of mat in the top left corner. So that's what we've done. We have our mat um, and we have our calibration sheet taped to our mat. So now we're ready to cut. 
So mash continue. Now it's time to cut the calibration sheet. So of course load your mat and mash the flash and go button. So now it's gonna run a test cut. On the first test cut, it's gonna cut along the black lines in the middle of the calibration sheet. So it should cut along the square. And after it's done, you will need to examine your square to make sure that it cut along the black lines. If it did not cut along the black lines, which our machine did not, as you can see, it wasn't on the black lines at all, which is kind of hard to tell, but it didn't cut along the black lines at all. You need to mash no, where it says, does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around? You mash no. If it did, continue the calibration sheet. Mash no and just calibrate it anyway because um, you can never go wrong with calibrating. So that's what I would do. So now it's time to do the test cut. It says your Cricut machine is performing the calibration cut where it's gonna cut along the small lines across the top of your sheet and then along the, down along the sides. Now it says, which lines cut closest to the center? So across the top, we're gonna go with number 10. Number 10 was almost perfect. It was the best one as far as the ones that go across. And then down the side, we're gonna go with F. F was the closest. It was really between F and G, but I went with F because um, it cut the closest first, if that makes any sense. So I chose letter F for the ones going down along the side. So we're gonna go with the number 10 for across the top and the letter F for down along the right side. So here it says which ones have the Cuts closest to the corner, so all you do is click the drop down box under top, and then you click the number 10, because we're gonna go with the number 10. And the same thing for the right side, on um, the alphabet going down the right, we're gonna go with the letter F, because F cut the closest. Now it says unload mat. Now that the calibration cuts have completed, we need to reprint and reset your machine, unload the mat, and click continue. So we're gonna click continue. More than welcome to follow along with the steps after your calibration sheet is cut. I don't. After I'm done with my calibration sheet, I feel like my machine is calibrated, so I don't even continue with the steps. I just go back and print the same image that I printed before realizing my machine needed calibrating. So I would suggest doing that because it's easier. Also guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And um, let's jump back into it. So like I said, we're gonna go over to images and reprint the image that we printed at first before we did our calibration, which was the ice cream cone under images and under food and drinks. So again, go over to images. Um, you should be back in the same place if you stayed on the same canvas. So we were under food and drinks and we're gonna use this cute little ice cream cone that we did. And don't forget that it's gonna come in layers because it's under a basic cut operation. So make sure that you highlight the image and hit flatten. And flatten will turn it into a print and cut. And then we're gonna also put the offset behind it as well so that we can see how, how well our machine is gonna cut it after the calibration. So after we find our offset, we're gonna click apply and then we're gonna flatten it again. Don't forget, after you use your offset, after you put the offset on it, to highlight the entire image and click flatten again to make sure that the entire image is one print and cut. So after you click flatten, you are ready to make the image. So click make it. We're gonna print and cut this image the same way we did our first image before the calibration. So again, send it to printer, make sure you send your image to your printer and make sure your base material is set at paper. So be sure to turn off the add bleed and mash print. Your image should now print out. And then after it prints out, again, it's gonna give you the steps to load it onto your mat. So load materials, again, making sure that your materials is set to paper. And once your mat is loaded, um, go ahead and cut it. Once your image is cut, look along the lines. It should cut a lot better than your first image because 
your machine is now calibrated. So just by looking, I can tell that it cut a lot better. It cut way more along the black lines than the first cut. As you can see, the first cut, you can see way more white versus after calibration. So after calibration, it did good. It is calibrated, as you can tell, because there's a lot less white showing, but there is just a tad bit white showing along the ears of the little ice cream cone or whatever. So now what we're gonna do is print a third image. So we're gonna go back over to make it. And this third image, we're gonna do something different that we didn't do on the first two cuts. So after you send it to printer and you get the pop-up, what we're now going to do is add bleed. I'm gonna show you the difference between a print and cut with a bleed and a print and cut without a bleed. So for this cut, for this image, we're gonna add bleed. Once you make sure that the add bleed is highlighted, now you're ready to mash print. And I don't know about anybody else, but when I'm doing print thin cuts, I always add the bleed because it helps take away from the machine cutting the white lines. So now it's time to load your mat and cut your image the same way we did the first two, um, the exact same way. So load your mat, print your image the exact same way that we did our first two images. And then after your image is cut out, Look along the black lines again. So here, it cuts absolutely perfect. There are no white lines cut at all. And I can tell before I even remove it from my mat, I can tell that it cut perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it. And as you can see, there are no white lines showing. This is what you want, this is how you want your print and cut to look. This is safe and perfect to iron on a shirt if you was gonna iron it on a shirt. So here we're just gonna go over all three of them side by side so you can tell the difference. This first one is before calibration and you can see all the white along the side so we will not use that. The second one is after calibration. It's a lot less white but you can still see a little white and it will be noticeable on a shirt so we don't want that either. And the third one is after the calibration plus added bleed. So make sure that you add bleed to your printing cuts. I always add the bleed and it cuts perfect along the lines every time, no white showing at all. And that's the type of cut that you want. So this is why it's very important to calibrate your machine. Always check your machine before you do your printing cuts. It's very simple and it's very easy. And um, that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you come back and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.